All right, looking at worksheet 44. Okay, we've got the floor of a rectangular pen has a length that is six feet more than its width. Okay, and then it goes in and says that both dimensions were increased by three. So that means we're going to find the area. We're going to do x plus three times x plus nine. And when you work that out, x times x is x squared plus 9x plus 3x plus 27, which is x squared plus 12x plus 27. All right, number two, a rectangle has a length of 3x plus 1 and a width of 2x plus 3. And we're trying to find the area here. So we're going to do the same thing we just did. That's going to give me 6x squared plus 9x plus 2x plus 3. So that gives me a total of 6x squared plus 11x plus 3. And then added to that is going to be our 5x squared plus x plus 1 for our total area, which makes your answer 11x squared plus 12x plus 4. All right, number three is area of a shaded region. So here we subtract. Okay, so we're going to do the area of the outside first. So that's 3x plus 2 times 2x plus 1, which is going to give us 6x squared plus 3x right here plus 4x, which is 7x plus 2. Okay, minus the area of the inside. The inside is going to be 2x times x plus 1, which gives me 2x squared plus 2x. So when we distribute the negative 1 right here, okay, that makes that a minus 2x squared and a minus 2x. So 6x squared minus 2x squared is going to give us 4x squared. And 7x minus 2x is going to give us 5x plus 2. Okay, number four, okay, this is total area again, so this is where we have to break it apart. So if we break it apart here, that's going to be x plus 1 times x plus 2, which is going to give us the x squared plus 3x plus 2. Then for the other side, we're going to start with the 4x plus 3 because we need that. But then for this side, we don't need the whole thing 2x plus 3. We need to subtract out the x plus 2. So that's going to give us x plus 1. So that makes that 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. And to get the total, we add those. So our answer should be 5x squared plus 10x plus 5. Okay, so that's kind of our old stuff. And then today we did problems like 5 through 8. Okay, so I am going to set them up for you, but then I want you to finish out the math on that. Make sure you're practicing with the decimals. I know it's really easy at home to use a calculator because you have one, but remember this does show up on the calculator inactive part of your test, so the only way to get better at that is to do it without the calculator when you practice it at home as well. Okay, so Derek bought three sandwiches and two drinks for six dollars. Kristen bought six sandwiches and three drinks for eleven dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, so to solve this, the easiest thing to cancel is going to be our sandwiches. So you're going to multiply the top by negative two, which is going to make that a negative six sandwiches minus four, and negative two times six dollars is negative twelve dollars. Okay, so when you do this math, that's going to give you a negative S, and then 11.25 from $12 is going to leave you a 75 cent. Okay, so our sandwiches are 75 cent. I'm sorry, our drinks are 75 cent. I don't know why I put an S there. Okay, it's because I put an S there. That's why. Okay.
So now you've got to go back, you've got the cost of a drink at 75 cent, and then you've got to go back in and plug the 75 cent in for a drink to find out the cost of a sandwich. All right, number six, T bought four suckers and 10 pieces of gum, and his total was $5. Sarah bought two suckers and three pieces of gum, and her total was $1.90. So the easy way to cancel here is going to be to multiply your bottom equation by negative 2. So the top stays the same. The bottom becomes negative 4s minus 6g and $1.90 times 2 is going to give you negative 380 because it's times a negative 2. Okay, so you'll go from there. When you get done with this because your s is canceled, you're going to get your price for gum. Subtract right here, that goes here, and then you'll divide by 4. Okay, that gives you your price for gum, and then you're going to plug that in to find your sucker. Two chicken sandwiches and two hamburgers is $13. Six chicken sandwiches and one hamburger is $25.25. Easy thing here would be to multiply the bottom by negative 2. Or you can multiply the top by negative 3. Either way. Okay, so you're using these two equations right here to subtract. So in other words, now this one is gone and that's the two that you're putting together. Okay. So that leaves you with one to do all on your own. Okay.